Hello, a warm welcome, and this is the scene here at the Zignali Duna Park. I'm Derek Ray, in position to bring you live match commentary, and my expert analyst, as always on these occasions, is Stuart Robson. And we have more live action from the pre-season third group stage for you to look forward to. It's Arsenal up against Granada. Well, both these teams will be looking for a strong finish to the group stages here today in what has been a really good tournament so far. Certainly the quality of football has been excellent. Just hope that's the case again today. And a look at the starting lineup for Arsenal. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4 5 1 formation with three players in advance of two holding midfielders. But it's important that the wide players come in field to join the centre forward at the right time. The opposition starting 11. Well, it's great to see them playing with the front two, but for it to work, they need to have a good understanding. They need to link up with each other and provide a different set of skills. And now they get the ball rolling. Really nice ball. Well, the keeper reacted magnificently. And it's with Smith. It's with Bodiger. It's with Mikel. Bodiger. Joel Piroe. That's the kind of shielding play you expect from him. Not the easiest of situations for the keeper. And the short option preferred. Has a go. And blocked for now. Granite Jacker. Unable to keep the ball that time. Can he put them in front? Oh, goal! He's going to be rightly proud of that moment. Sensational! And back underway, 1-0 it is. Chalanolu. Dangerous looking attack. And can they make one of these passes count? Real chance! And saved by the keeper. And over comes the corner. 
struggling to get it away. Well, threat over for now. Needs to tread carefully. Well, it wasn't all that far off the target. Well, you're absolutely right. That was close, but the game is still very much in the balance here. As you can see, Arsenal are seeing less of the ball. But when they have won it back in midfield areas, their counter-attacking has been excellent. They'll be happy with the way the game's going at the moment. And the threat on the counter-attack is very real. Here they come again. Just missing narrowly on the volley. Well, it's a fantastic effort. Difficult technique, but he caught it so well. He's unfortunate. Overcooked that one. Superb effort to keep it in. Well, the half-time whistle fast approaching. It's Arsenal with the lead. Stuart, interested to get your thoughts on their performance so oh, far. Oh, he's through and go here, Derek. Superb stop. And that is going to be all for the first half here in Dortmund. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. And a chance, Udegaard! Oh, magnificent reaction. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up and now both will rely on their respective benches. It's with Erdogan. Now can they counter clinically? And options in the center. Melendo. Piroe. Now can they create something? That's high-level goalkeeping. Well, that's a fantastic save. He's such a good keeper. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. And there's the delivery. Well, here you can see it again. It's a superb cross, just asking for someone to go and meet it. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. So back underway, following the equaliser. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Trusty. Gabriel. Martin Odegaard. Good vision. Can he get onto this? And collected tidily. He had plenty to think about. Well, far from the ideal pass. An encouraging Arsenal move. Oh, what a perfect ball now. How about this? Oh, that is a majestic goal. Volleyed home with precision and style. Superbly done.
Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Now we're inside the final 10 minutes in this one. Really getting stuck in. This could level it, but denied by the keeper. And at this late stage in the proceedings, it could be highly significant. Well, it could be a huge moment, Derek. So little time left now. So the corner played into the box. And the referee blows his whistle. Now we can say it officially, Arsenal have won this game. Three points for them. What did you make of it all? Well, Derek, it was very competitive. Chances at both ends, but I feel they were the better team and they deserve their victory.
Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. It's Arsenal. They face Manchester United and it's live on EA TV. Hello, and here we are today underneath the Wembley Arch at one of the most instantly recognisable venues in the football world. I'm Derek Ray, and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. And with the league season about to begin, we have action coming up from the curtain raiser, the Community Shield. It's Arsenal taking on Manchester United. Well, Derek, the Community Shield is always an interesting game just to see how these two teams are progressing. What might the coaches do differently? Are the players fitting up? And will they be challenging for silverware once again this year? And this is the Arsenal starting 11. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated, and it could be difficult for them. Well, Manchester United have chosen this particular shape. David De Gea between the posts. Rafael Varane plays alongside Harry Maguire in central defence. Koke starts with Casemiro in the centre of the pitch. And up front, it's Duvan Zapata. And the contest begins. Rafael Varane. Sancho now. Kukchu. Duvan Zapata. Koke with it. Well, he's got past his man, but stat defending when it mattered. Bukayo Saka. Well, that's a super ball over the top. And a goal right off the bat. No wonder they're jumping for joy. So United restart the game. Disappointed to have conceded. Can they come up with an equaliser? Well, the focus on many of the back pages coming into today's game, very much on him. A matter of whether he was going to be able to play or not. And with that in mind, we all looked at the team sheet with a good deal of interest today, Stuart. Well, he's been out for a few weeks now, but he's back today and hopefully he can resume where he left off. And he might be in here.
still here and the ball is moving again Maguire this is Varane okay well they keep passing away might be a chance here a goal that's exactly what they needed that should get them believing again well here's the goal again and it's a great ball to put him through Good vision to set up the chance. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. So continuing with the action, United still behind, but this game very much a contest. Potentially freedom for United on the flank. Options in the centre. They've regained possession. Well, that's one for them to pursue. And he's only gone and made it a hat-trick. Absolutely unplayable today. What a performance. So the ball is moving again. We've been treated to four goals. 3-1 the score. Rafael Varane. Sancho now. It's a fine United move in the making. Well, there's no getting away from it. This is the man so many people have been focusing on ahead of this particular game. Taking on his old club and Stuart, different players react to that in different ways. Well, Derek, I always found it difficult playing against my old clubs, especially Arsenal. I just felt so strange. It might well be the same for him today. Hopefully oh, not. big chance here. It's gone in. And well, he might celebrate on the back of that. Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect, but I don't think the keeper should be beaten at his near post quite so easily. I thought that was stoppable. And the ball is moving again. 3-2. Chalanolu. Malassia. It's with Gabriel. And that attack going up a dead end. And the keeper has the ball. Kukchu. Anthony. And can they create something? The save was a good one. And deciding to go short with this one. Now a decent position. This could square the game. He knew he had to make the tackle and did. Well, there we have it. We're at the halfway mark now here at Wembley. So the ball is rolling again. United might be behind, but still plenty of time for them. What can they do in the second 45? Moving the ball nicely, trying to carve out the equaliser. Well, they get themselves level here. Oh, a smart stop. Martin Odegaard. Nepal. 
Sané. It's with Erdogan. Chalhanolu. They've gone and scored again. They're doing everything in their power to make sure they're not pegged back. Scoreline 4 2. Cook two. Lisandro Martinez. More than decent this from United. Dallo. And return to Ronaldo. Working away patiently, looking for an opening. Chance to reduce the arena. Really sound goalkeeping. Well, that had to be a goal, didn't it? What a stop that is. Substitution time it is here. Now, how about the short corner? Sancho. Takes the shot. Ronaldo, here's Sancho, Ronaldo, and he's fired it against the post, and a goal, he's put it away, a celebratory moment. Well, just watch this again, he's bright, he's hungry, and he's determined, that's a good finish. Well, how about this? 4-3. Arsenal move it forward with purpose and control. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Just 10 minutes remaining here. Just a quick reminder, we have more action from the Premier League coming your way. It's Manchester United facing Arsenal. Well, that should be a really good game between two entertaining teams in a great stadium. Manchester United know they've got to get on the front foot with time the enemy. This could be the equaliser, but no! When your goalkeeper comes up with a save like that late in the game, you have cause to be thankful. Well, that could be a key moment. They have to take those sort of chances. They won't get too many more, but let's credit the goalkeeper. Short corner favour. Sancho. Terrific block. Sancho. Effective challenge. Well, the counter chance looks very real. And the keeper didn't have too much time. Manchester United battling the clock and the scoreline. But they took care of the situation defensively. This might be ideal for the counter. could hardly miss.
And full time, most satisfying a victory in the curtain racer to the season. Well, it's certainly a good way to start the season. That's just what they wanted. They played really well today, and it's always great to keep winning trophies. First piece of silverware, and that is never to be sniffed at. As the players applaud the fans who have been backing them today. Well, it's great preparation for the season, Derek, and this is always a nice moment going up to lift any trophy. Great for those fans as well. Now for the trophy lift. And with friends and family in attendance, you've always got to really savour these moments when they come around, Stuart. Well, they've got to enjoy this, Derek, and then get ready for a tough season ahead. They won't be celebrating too much tonight. Absolutely, Stuart. They all know the show must go on after this. And now the players posing for the images that will be sent around the world. Well, these are great moments, aren't they? Certainly ones to cherish, and they'll want more of this come the end of the season.